So welcome folks in to another episode or another security uh, video from the Warlock of Wi-Fi. That's me. My name is Jason Kittrell. I've been in the IT industry for over 20 years and I am currently a senior systems engineer for a healthcare company. And one of the things I want to talk about right now is the thing that happens to me, and it's probably happened to quite a few of you. Recently, there's been um, several emails being sent to me through family members and friends uh, on Facebook saying that they found me on uh, YouTube or they found uh, some information about me and they're like, oh my God, I can't believe it was you. And it has a link. And the link looks like it goes to a legit website like YouTube or archive.net or different places like that. And that's all well and good. And a lot of times, if people find something that they want to share with me, they will send me a link. But these are obfuscated uh, links. Like they're bitlies. They're shortened. So you really can't see uh, the actual URL that you are going to. And what ends up happening is you end up going to a website that ends up compromising your system. Now, you're probably wondering, how do you tell what that link actually does? Because I know a lot of people who actually got these links and actually opened them and was like, well, nothing happened. I didn't see anything appear on my screen. I didn't get my computer hacked or anything. But what they really don't realize is that, yeah, actually something did happen. Uh, a lot of times these websites will do something like a drive-by where you'll go to a website and it looks like a regular website, but behind the scenes it actually launches code behind it using your credentials and your uh, information to let download and install software onto your machine. Now... One way you can identify this, and this is a, something that I use quite a bit, it's called Hybrid Analysis. It's a website, hybrid-analysis.com. And right here on the base page, you can drop a file for analysis, or you can actually send them a link. Now, one thing that's happened to me, and I'm going to show you, uh, I get messages on Steam quite a bit. And I get it from people who uh, say that, oh, well, we're friends, or, you know... Um, you know, the usual, hey man, you know, we're saw you streaming, thought I would send you this um, link here. You can get yourself some uh, free uh, video games. Oh, great. And one of them that keeps sending them to me, and I'm trying to find them here on the list, and I've only kept them around for this period of time, is this Skylam person. Not sure who it is. Looks like it's a hijacked account. But he keeps sending me this, hey, friend, you get a top game, one free game, you know, and this spam, it's pretty, you know, hour and 15 minutes, you know, it looks like it's on a pretty much a timer. So what we'll do is we'll take this link right here, and I'm just going to copy it. We'll go to hybrid analysis, and we'll drop it in, and we'll tell it to analyze. Now, you can fill this out. I'm just going to say yes, and I'm not a robot because we're going to watch it here on screen. And I've already submitted this once before. And one thing that happens when you submit something once before is that it will store the information. So this may actually go pretty darn fast. Now, this next screen here, what hybrid analysis does that other engines don't do is it actually will open a browser up on a virtual machine. In this case, a Windows 7 32-bit system. It'll open it up, and then it will record what happens. And it'll give you some screenshots, and it'll tell you what actually ran in the background. Now, we're going to go ahead and initialize this. Now, like I said, this sometimes can take 5, 10 minutes to do. I've actually did this before. I did this one yesterday, and it saves the results because that link has already been sent several times by me. And what you'll notice here, first thing you'll notice right here at the top, it says malicious. It means there is bad, bad stuff here. Well, but the, here's the problem. Under antiviruses, two big names, Meta Defender and Virus Total, both come back clean on this. They could both come back green. There's nothing wrong with it. And if I click on like details from Virus Total, it'll open up Virus Total and it will show me clean, 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 clean. These are things like Komodo, Avira, uh, what are some other names in here? Um, 
Opera, Open Fish. There's several big names in there. Malware bites even identifies this as being safe and clean. So what gives? Why does hybrid analysis mark this as malicious? Well, it goes down into what actually is showing up here. The AV detection marked it as clean, but there are some threat indicators here. There are three indicators of malicious content on this website. And if we click that, it'll take us here and it will show us exactly what those are underneath malicious indicators. And there's three right here. Malicious artifacts seen in the context of a contacted host. Malicious artifacts seen in the context of the input URL. And malicious, uh, multiple malicious artifacts seen in the context of different hosts. And it actually shows you the information down here of what it's trying to do. It looks like it's trying to reach out to other obfuscated URLs that do have viruses on it. Well, how does it know? Well, the files are encrypted, as you can see here. Like this one right here, big time encryption, or, in, or not, I won't say big time, but it's encrypted, but it's got a big time positive virus score. 50 out of 69 engines detected viruses. Positives. And this is because this actually opens the files up. It actually inspects the payload, if you will. And it will show you here. Here's the virtual machine that opened up. Opens a browser. Goes to the link. The link actually takes us to John's, johnsolove.blogspot.com. But then we get sent again to keepforbest.fun. This is where the bad stuff starts happening. Yes, it looks like you can get a free video game. But what it's doing on the backside is it is actually installing software onto your machine. Malicious software. Back doors. And we can see this up here because right here it spawns new processes that are not known child processes. It spawns things that... Why is it spawning these things? Why is it trying to run different code behind the scenes? So... And also, you can see here, there's some suspicious things. Sends traffic on typical HTTP outbound port, but without an HTTP header. And it uses a user agent typical for browsers, although no browser was ever launched. So it's actually doing something behind the scenes. It is malicious in those factors, and that is the reason why this website, Hybrid Analysis, marks this as a malicious website. It contacts seven domains. There's the seven domains that it contacts. Now, these domains all appear to be inside the United States, but that's not necessarily true. These could be uh, um, proxies. So, also it says we found MITRE ATT&CK. So there's some information here that does a service execution. So using the, you know, administration, administrator. So yes, this is a malicious website. Yes, you should block anybody who sends you to these websites. Yes, you should be sure not to go to it yourself. Use something like hybrid analysis. I'll put a link down in the description. And this right here, will help you identify and see just exactly what these uh, links are doing. Should you open any links from people that you aren't expecting? No, you should never do that. However, some of us are curious and some of us want to know exactly what's going on behind the scenes. And if you don't have a virtual machine that you can uh, block off from the rest of your network and uh, uh, run these uh uh, these uh, suspicious URLs in and see what happens, this is the next best thing. Hybrid-analysis.com. Something that we use quite a bit at work. I was actually uh, not even aware of it until here recently. And let me tell you, it changed a lot of the work that goes into identifying what these malicious pieces of software actually do. So, this is just being a security tip, something that you can do uh, without actually having to open up uh, 
these files that are sent to you, these links that are sent to you, and actually see what it's doing um, behind the scenes and maybe get a little bit more information. Just like always, if there's anything that I go over here in these videos that you would like to uh, talk about, feel free to uh, comment about it below. Uh, if you have any questions for me concerning uh, security questions or IT questions or anything on those likes, feel free to just reach out to me and let me know. You can go to either one of my websites, wifiwarlock.com or warlockofwifi.com and send me a message. Or again, you can put it here in the con uh, the uh, content ugh, the comment field uh, below. But anyways, thanks everybody for watching this video. I hope this helps you out. And until next time, Warlock out.